Welcome back to At Home with Roby. I'm Patrick McIsaac, president of Roby Electric, along with Trent Haston, president and CEO of the Roby family of companies. We're your host, Trent. We have another CEO in here. You can, are you going to be able to handle that? I, I'm a little baby. I'm like an ant CEO. I'm, I'm running the little colony down at the down at the bottom of the dirt hill. But uh, we talked a little bit about about Tom and having him on and how cool it is to have Tom Fink as oh, our yeah. guest on the radio Great today. To be here. Uh, it, you've been a long time Roby client, long time friend, and and we're very grateful to to have the relationship on all fronts. But you were talking kind of a culmination to to today of where you and your firm are you're 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 having the opportunity to build this great cool building uptown and you were telling us a little bit about it why don't we start off tell us about what's going on across from romare building building park across from romare well as a lot of people in charlotte know um you know we've been developing uh really we broke ground december 14 uh a 25 story office tower which will be the uh, global headquarters for Bearings, uh, our company, uh, but also we'll have other tenants uh, in the facility. And then we're also uh, putting up right across from Omer Bearden a uh, 200-room uh, hotel. So we're excited about the development because I think it's, from the beginning, has been envisioned as something special for Charlotte. It's in the heart of Charlotte. We wanted something unique, and, uh, you know, it's really come together nicely. It's you're anxious. It's much like when I'm waiting to get my, you know, hey, renovations I done where you're with going Roby. There. You just get really anxious <laughs> as, you, as the cabinets go and you're ready to go. Well, w- w- one of the questions I think, and I'll, I'll, I'll clean it up from what Trent and I actually <laughs> asked you before, but one of the questions I think yep. Trent asked was, hey, what's more challenging, a remodel, a residential remodel, or, or building this gorgeous building downtown? And, and you were pretty gracious with your answer, I feel like. Yeah, I think it's it, it really depends on the day. and, and But, you know, here you have different partners. Right. You know, in, in building the building, we have partners like Spectrum, our local development partners. I have my colleagues in Bearings Real Estate Advisors who are working with Spectrum on development, you know, working with great firms like LS3P on the architects and Balfour Beatty on the construction. And, and you know, they're very, you know, we work well together and, right. they're, and they're very differential to me. At home, I am just one of the workers. Uh, the yeah, boss right. is in full control, and she's a lovely boss. But as, as Trent knows, uh, Miss Heather calls the shots. Miss Heather does call the shots. Uh, I've always been intrigued. I tell the story. Um, we, I, I think it was about oh seven, maybe even early oh or late oh six, oh seven. And uh, your 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 house, you have five kids, which yep. I was always intrigued. I, I at the time, I think I had had just one of my four children, my right. first. Um, and and the market was a little a little starting to rock a little bit. So I was out here selling with with Brendan Hackett, was our project manager at the time. He's actually uh, spoke spoke about him before he's moved back home with his family in New York. But we're over there meeting with you guys, and we had I tell this story, and I don't know if you've ever heard me tell this story. But we had met with Heather for months yeah. and done the plan and got done all this research and then and, and met, I think I shook shake your hand, great guy. And then you come in and we're presenting and 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 this is a nice, great project and and you're sitting there in the meeting and you're like, I gotta, I gotta go. You're looking at your. I remember you were looking at your blackberry. You said, I gotta go. Something bad's happening. And I don't know if you remember that. You left the meeting. And there I was, was, you know, it's interesting. <laughs> so much was bad was happening. Oh, yeah, because I think we did that. Literally broke ground right as we were going into the crisis, dude. And uh, <laughs> and I'm like, well, you know, I, I guess it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, you know, there a lot was bad happening in the world that time. And uh, you know, it's what's interesting is we came through it. And, but and but your foresight, because because on the ground level. Yeah. We work with wealthy folks and mm-hmm. custom folks, and and it hadn't got to our level yet. And right. and in the business that you're in at the time was Babson Capital, mm-hmm. you know now now, now bearings. bearings. Uh, you y- 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 you had this global holistic picture, but I'll tell you selfishly, I was going, man, we met with this sweet lady, and she did all this, <laughs> and now he's about to pull the plug. And I- <laughs> but no, we did the project, and and it's- and and through that. As I as I have had at the time and still do a young budding family, relatively you as well. But I got to I got to see how your family lives and through through a project, sure. and, and we're blessed to work with you. Uh, 
but it's but it's been really cool. So I've become your firm's biggest fan, and and I think it's really cool the the names that you named that y'all are doing that building with and that project. Uh, and then also I like you to talk about a little bit about your job. But but they're Charlotte centric firms. LSP three Balfour. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, AI, I mean, sure. They, sure, they, AI they, design, right? They are the yeah. former Dooley in in Charlotte. Yep. So uh, exactly. I like to hear Michael Smith. I mean, I like to hear yep. that. Hey, this is a community event that's going on. Yeah, you know, look, the the crisis, kind of harkening back to our, our point, at a, there are times in crisis where, you know, if you get blinded by worry, you won't move forward. And some things, if you're somewhat prepared and you know your business, you know what you're doing, uh, you keep moving forward. You guys did that during yep. the crisis. You didn't yes, stop. Sir. You know, you, you kept the focus on moving forward and executing your plan. And, you know, I think Charlotte's business community did that. There was a lot of uncertainty when, you know, Wachovia, in essence, went up for sale and fortunately ended, I think, with Wells uh, in, in retrospect. Um, but we kept focus and we kept moving forward. But also a lot of investing and a lot of business about the fundamentals. If you really focus on the fundamentals, not just, you know, when times are tough, but when times are, are good, then you're prepared for the tough times. And you know, while a lot was happening, we're worried about a lot. I also had a comfort of knowing how our business was positioned. We weren't over levered trying to get dramatic growth. We ran, you know, you'd, we ran a pretty consistent, prudent business. And so, yeah, you had to deal with the crisis, but, you know, you just kept <clears throat> kept your hand on the rudder and you kept steering forward through the storm. Well, in, in Tom, I, I read a couple of business journal articles uh, over, the, over the past week, and one of the things you said at, at the groundbreaking – and you're looking at me funny, like, oh, what did I say? See, on At Home with Roby, Trent, yeah. I don't have to worry as much oh, about no, what I we say. Oh, <laughs> no, I was just joking. But you said the time He's is about right. about to hit you. The no. time is right and the time is now. Yes. Which I thought that was a cool quote. I mean, you could kind of feel the energy that it, that you guys had and that you bring as the leader of your organization. I mean, reading that as, as one of your associates, that, that kind of got me motivated and fired up just, just to hear you know, somebody in your position to say that, which is which is exciting. Well, I think, yeah, and this was December 14, and, and what right. I said then is true now. Charlotte was able to come through the crisis in part because fundamentally we, we began to diversify years ago. And more local businesses cropped up. You know, we had businesses outside of the banking industry and the broader financial service industry, uh, energy, you look at. You know, there's a whole industry around NASCAR up north of town right. beyond just racing cars, just in high tech and manufacturing. And so, plus you got this airport that makes it very easy yep. to run a Great global airport. firm for someone like me. Um, so I think those elements, when when actually other national firms are looking at cities to move out of, and the fact of the matter is more and more New York-based firms are looking to put operations outside of New York. It's just too expensive. Right. Trump's head's too big. <laughs> well, I actually watched Pax Hotel, you know, in, in December when I was up there. And had a, you couldn't even get on that side of the street. They had a cordon <laughs> off. I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, oh, oh, the yeah. White House. <laughs> so, you know, but the reality is with technology today, you know, we're a global firm. We have 40% of our employees outside of the United States. Yeah, I'm connecting with people in Hong Kong and London every week. And so, you know, Charlotte, uh, you know, can attract a lot of businesses because businesses have to be diversified in their footprint. And you have such a strong set of elements. Great uh, community with a, with a very talented workforce. Uh, great airport in terms of getting places. And, you know, we're having some hiccups here, I think, politically. But if you strip behind the politics and you look at the can-do attitude of the business community organization like Charlotte Center City Partners and right. Michael Smith's runs, they, they help things happen. You know, mm -hmm. They helped us when we were envisioning the building figure out what we wanted to do there. Oh, that's great. Hey, Tom, we got we to gotta roll out of our segment. Will you stick around for a few more minutes Absolutely. with us? Absolutely. And we'll hear what Bearings is doing and what type of business right. Bearings is. Educate the Charlotte community on how strong a firm, how lucky we are to have you guys in town. We'll be right back. You're listening to the At Home with Roby show. <laughs> 